What's going on guys? It's Sunday, 7 in the morning. Sorry about the whispering, but everyone's sleeping. I don't want to wake anyone up. But we're not sleeping in Catherine's parents' house right now. We're sleeping in Catherine's grandparents' house. The uh, greenhouse right there. I'm locked outside right now, so I can't really do anything. So I'm just waiting for someone to wake up, open the door. And then I think I'm going to surprise Catherine with some pancakes. She's still sleeping, so that'll be the best way to wake up ever. All right, no luck in this door. Let's check the other side. Nope. What do I do? <laughs> I have nothing to do, seriously. I don't have my phone. Actually, sometimes Catherine's little brother, aka Mr. Hello, sneaks up early in the morning to watch television and cartoons. But I can't see because the window is too high up, so I'm gonna get this and find out if he's awake. Sketchy. No one there. Let's see if there's a way to get in from this side. No. Ah, that was my last hope. All right, so I guess this is the only place I got as it's separate from the inside of the house. This is the office that you see me working at with the amazing views, of course. So the only thing left to do right now is meditate. I really don't meditate, but since there's nothing I can do right now, seems like a perfect scenario to meditate. So I'm gonna give it a go. I've seen people crossing their legs, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to do the same. And on cartoons, I also see people doing this weird thing with their fingers, so... I guess I'm supposed to be doing that as well. And then I'm just gonna close my eyes and hope that I come out the other side a better person. <laughs> So I just leaned on that door, I didn't close it properly. I can't believe I just fell when I was like deep in my meditation. I really felt like I was getting somewhere, but <laughs> I guess now the conclusion is that meditation is dangerous. So it's now 8.30 a.m. I've been just sitting here for like over an hour. So I'm gonna check if anyone's awake right now. Well, then it's back to bird watching. One hour later. Look who's awake. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically the uh, surprise pancakes is not happening. Maybe you can do it another day. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. It's a thought that counts and uh, now you know that I thought about it. So yeah. that makes me a very good <laughs> husband. I uh, tried to meditate. Uh-huh in the office upstairs uh -huh. and I just fell on my face and I actually filmed it. <laughs> I think people are gonna laugh a lot though, so it was worth it. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any meditation soon. It's kind of proven to me that it's kind of a dangerous kind of activity to do, so I'll stay away from that. So why exactly are we sleeping in your grandparents' house instead of here? So usually when we're here, we sleep in my old bedroom that I used to had before when I lived here but lately my parents have been doing some re remodeling they're making a new bedroom for me and John so we can sleep in a different place of the house uh, with the baby closer to the bathroom and everything and then my little brother is having my old room but it's almost ready now so I think maybe tonight we can actually sleep in our room yeah so since it's the weekend why don't we sit down on the sofa and enjoy some YouTube videos before getting to work look at this <laughs> this what is, is what that? my parents have to do every night so that my dog doesn't jump in the sofa. Watching some Sarah Lemkis <laughs> and check this out. <laughs> every time Catherine is eating some oranges, oh, she wants she to have a piece. Loves oranges. <laughs> so we're gonna go to my grandma's house and we're gonna pick up a baby bed. Baby bed? Yeah. Yeah? Is that <laughs> happening right now? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do it. So this is a very old house. And look at these stairs, they're so steep and dangerous. So that's why John needs to help my dad carry down the bed. Oh, maybe it wasn't too bad. I thought it was super heavy, but I guess it wasn't. Luckily, Catherine's dad is super strong, <laughs> so didn't really need my help. So that bed is actually the bed that I slept in when I was a baby. Really? And a lot of my other older cousins and other cousins as well. It's kind of like a family tradition to yeah. reuse this baby bed. It does look pretty Pretty traditional. Yeah, it's pretty old and traditional. Good for Instagram pictures. Yeah. <laughs> so what we need to do now is order a new mattress to go in there and then it's almost ready. So we're gonna bring this bump out for a walk. So the weather is super nice today and the sun is shining so we have to go for a nice long walk. Yes. Are you ready for a walk? <laughs> that was a nice walk. I just booked tickets for the cinema tonight. Oh yeah. We're gonna watch Avengers, a new movie. Yeah. 
So that's gonna be exciting. We haven't been to the cinema for a long time. We're gonna go watch this one. Anyways, it's one o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. I'm starving. I don't know what I'm gonna make. I think I'll just make some oatmeal. Same meal as you guys have seen a lot of times in this channel. Just a banana, some oatmeal, blueberries, some almond milk, and I have a little bit of peanut butter on top as well. <coughs> and a scoop of protein powder from Vivo Life. I'm so hungry that I started eating before showing you guys, but um, We can yeah. tell because your lips are blue. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> okay, just stepped out of the house. It's time for a workout session. I'm gonna train one hour of legs and abs. Uh, we have a workout session. Oh, Lucas, what are you doing here? What, what happened to your hair? Hello. You look like a, you look like a Smurf. Hello. <laughs> All right, well, today we're gonna learn a new word Hair, okay, can you say hair? Try saying hair. He Hello! No. Oh. What's for dinner, Catherine? So make some rice, some vegan tikka masala, and some salad, and then we have some fresh coriander and some naan bread. Mmm, that is gonna be good. Hello. Yeah, very good. Where'd you find this car? <laughs> St stole it from a neighbor. <laughs> so we're now going to your uncle's place? Because he has a birthday? Yeah, my uncle's birthday. Yeah, so we're gonna have a family gathering there. Hi right, guys, we just got the neighbor village that we're going to the party at. And uh, this is even smaller than the village <laughs> where we're currently staying at. It's really, really crazy. It's probably like, what, like 400 people living here? I don't know, but it's, it's definitely <laughs> it's tiny. smaller. Yeah, let me know if you guys live in a small town or village or if you guys are from the city because yeah, city life is completely different from village or like small town life. Try front flip, go. Hello. Front flip. Hello. Flip front. Hello. Okay, never mind. I think we need to address the title of this video because we haven't talked about anything related and to the title. The title is what? Something about moving to Norway and uh, moving what? into your parents house to have the baby because you guys already know that we're gonna stay in Norway but a lot of you guys don't realize that we're gonna actually stay in her parents house so we already mentioned to you guys that we decided to go to Norway to have the baby so we're gonna stay there for the next few months and we're actually gonna live in my parents house so mm -hmm. with my mom dad and my brother mr. hello <laughs> and my dog Bixie yeah so that's where we're gonna be staying um, and I think a lot of people find it Maybe not weird, but kind of <laughs> odd that we're moving from my parents' house to, to my parents go house. to Norway and move to... Like, if you told me this and I had no context, I would kind of think it's a bit unusual as well. Um, but for our situation, that is just how things turn out because, you know, the reason why we're here is because Catherine obviously is from here, yeah. from the village, from Norway. It makes everything in terms of communication easier with the doctors and midwives and that kind of stuff. So we decided yeah. to do everything here. Yeah, this is where we find it most comfortable to, to give birth or, and have the baby and stuff like that. So that's why we decided to go here a while before the birth so we can just prepare everything and then stay here and then we have my family as well so can they can help us <laughs> they can help us, <laughs> help us <exactly>. out <laughs> we, have, we have some support <laughs> and uh, yeah we could definitely yeah. um you know rent somewhere maybe i don't know if there are any yeah, uh, also, places to rent in the yeah. village but yeah it's not that many places to rent in a tiny village like this yeah and also my parents have some like extra space and an extra room so they're super happy to have us there so mm -hmm. for us it just feels natural yeah we have a good relationship with uh, both our families so it's yeah. not like you know, this is not a suboptimal situation. This is the situation that we prefer being in, and uh, we like spending time with our families as yeah. much as possible. Because who knows? Maybe we move to a place at the other side of the world, <laughs> and it'll be a lot harder to uh, to uh, meet each other or yeah. see each and other. Also, since we don't live here like all the time, whenever we come here, we like to stay in their house, of course. So yeah, we can just be together as much as possible. And some people think that it, you know. As a man, you have to, uh, you know, get a house and, you know, put your family in there. And uh, yeah. we're not doing things the traditional way. And, and it's also um, because we it's don't, just the way it is. yeah, we we don't have like a proper like home for the two of us yet. We haven't like decided where we want to live for a long period of time yeah. uh, and bought like a house or rented a proper apartment. So that's mm -hmm. why for us it's okay to just like stay in John's parents' house for a while and then yeah. in my parents' house for a while, mm -hmm. and then we do some traveling as well. So. Yeah, it just just feels right for our situation. <laughs> so for now, we don't know how long we're gonna stay here, but uh, at least for three months, um, and then we have no idea what's gonna happen afterwards. And then we're probably. gonna go to Spain. Yeah, we're gonna go to Spain, Back home to but then our after that, we have no idea. We're always improvising. We're spontaneous. We have no idea what we're gonna do a year from now. 
absolutely yeah. no idea and that is exciting um, sometimes uh, you know I get pressured <laughs> from you know maybe other people telling me because they're used to the traditional way of yeah, doing things that we have to decide down, of settling down buying a, buying a house investing yeah uh, putting down some roots and obviously there are plus sides and amazing uh, things related to that as well but yeah. we just haven't found the right place and the the right it's not the right time for us right now so we're still young we have a long long way to go in yes. terms of figuring things out so we're not stressing about it we just decide to take enjoy it day life. by day enjoy life and since we're in the situation that we're in we're super lucky to be able to do this so, lucky. so, so for us yeah. it's just uh, yeah the right thing to do and we're really grateful to be in this situation as well yeah so thank you to <laughs> my parents and thank you to Catherine's parents yeah. if you're watching the videos I just think it was good to cover this just because a lot of people have been curious and asking yeah. the question so it's good to just <laughs> talk a little bit about it a lot of confused people out there so hopefully this clears things up but uh, yeah Kay. time to go to the cinema Dove the Cinema was a great film and now we're just heading back home to our new bed that we just got. Yeah, I'm gonna, excited to try it out. Yeah, hopefully it's good. And by the way, uh, the, and by the way, we're gonna show you guys our new room very soon. Uh, it's not completely ready yet, but yeah, we'll show you guys soon. And um, yeah, I don't know <laughs> what I'm talking about. I'm tired, I'm sleepy, and I can't wait to just sleep. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense. Horrible outro, but yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Click the like button, comment something, and keep showing your support. You guys have been awesome. So yeah, that's it from us. Thank you so much for following along this day, and we'll see you very soon. Peace Bye. out.